Hey guys, what's going on? Chad here with another review. I'm excited to say I have a special guest and I'm hoping that uh, going forward, I can use her in more of my reviews. Today, we are going to be reviewing Kingsman Premium and I have reviewed their product before, but I have several products that I want to review in this video with my wife Tara. She's going to give a woman's perspective on these products from Kingsman Premium. So stay tuned right after this intro. Okay guys, so let's get right into this. We're gonna jump right in and talk about this company. This company was originated in 2016. They are from Grand Junction, Colorado, and their mission was to create something great, something different, something that was all American made for the average working man. I am a working man and I approve of this message. This is a great product, and before we get into this, I'm going to say I appreciate working with Dana over at Kingsman Premium. She has been really, really kind, and she has sent me a couple things to review, and today they will be included into this video. We will start out with Black Knight. Okay, so let's go through the scent profile of Black Knight. It's a clone scent consisting of lavender, citrus, berries, sandalwood, and rum spice. I love sandalwood, and I also love clones, as you should. You know, maybe you don't, you can't really see, but I have tons of clones. I know note breakdowns. I get into it on this channel. So I am a big cologne fragrance guy. So with that said, we're going to see what my wife Tara thinks about the initial smell right out of the bottle. I like it. It does smell, I smell like a cologne. It's a strong and it's a good scent. I really like it. Let me smell it again. I like it. It smells clean. Okay, so she smelled a lot of fragrances. Now, what would you think about this one? Uh, Your honest opinion. The fact that that's a beard oil and it smells that good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I like it. I might have to wear some tonight. <laughs> when we watch a movie. <laughs> No, uh, I really like this. I do too. I really do. Uh, it's a good one. It's a very, very good one. Yeah. This one, Black Knight, guys. Black Knight. This one, for a full one ounce bottle, will run you $20. Now, I will say, all of their beard oils that I have experienced, they do last quite a long time. I did put some in uh, just a couple of days ago. Actually, it was probably, I think it was on Saturday. This is Monday when we're doing this video. I put one of these beard oils in that we're going to talk about in the morning, and it lasted till the very evening, probably about, I don't know, well, I took a shower that night, probably about 10 o'clock at night. So I'd say probably 11 o'clock in the morning to about 10 o'clock at night. It lasted a very, very long time in my beard. So that says a lot because with me, when it comes to fragrances, when it comes to beard oils, I don't only take into consideration the fill in the beard and the quality and the ingredients when it comes to beard oils and beard products in general. I also like to take in consideration the duration or longevity if uh, or sillage, I guess that's what you would call it, a projection when it comes to um, fragrances. So I do think that this has really good longevity. It lasts a long time. And as you can see, the consistency uh, of this oil, it's not the thickest, but it's really not the thinnest either. Mm -hmm. It's about a medium, uh, I'd say kind of uh, light to medium viscosity, kind of more on the medium side, I'd say, which I really like the thicker viscosity myself. So this right here, is really really good so we're gonna come back to this okay so stay tuned do not leave because we're gonna come back to this I get her best take on all three which one's her favorite next on the list is wizard this one guys is really really good now I'm not gonna lie in the beginning when I first got this I was not a fan because I love blueberries but the smell of it on my skin uh, was not too appealing for me 
However, the more I wear this, the more it grows on me. And it literally grows on me. When I have it in my hair, it's just sitting there growing like a big old fat blueberry. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, I put this on Saturday morning, as I said, and I asked my wife, I said, what does this smell like? And she goes, what did you say? I'm not going to say what she said. You tell <laughs> them what you said. Come on, be honest. What did you say? I said, it smells like a restaurant. <laughs> it's funny because she said, it smells like something I've smelled before. Yeah. And I said, it's kind of funny because her and I's mind thinks differently. Uh, and so the more she smelt it in the beard, she goes, smells fruity. And, and then I asked my daughter, my youngest daughter, she came in the room and she goes, uh, it smells like watermelon. And I said, no, you're close. It smells like mango. Nope, close. Uh, I said, it smells like a brain food. My kids know that blueberry is a brain food. Your brain loves blueberries, okay? So she figured that out and she said, yes, you're right. That is a blueberry. She was on the right path because she knew it smelled a little fruity. Now, mm -hmm. it's not fruity in a bad way, guys. I feel like it's kind of a manly or fruity smell because right when you open it up, I'm telling you right now, it is a big blast of blueberry, very fruity right out of the bottle. But when I stuck it in my beard and I heated up my beard and straightened it out, it started mellowing off and smelling really, really good. And uh, as I said, I asked my wife and she said, it smells really, really good. And it was kind of harder to pull that blueberry note out of it, but it was fruity. It was there, but it became more subtle. It was really, really calm, really, really good, and really refreshing, really. I did a video that same day on a whole other topic, not even on beer products. And I have to say, I had compliments in my video of how good my beard looked. So this stuff makes your beard look good. It really does. It feels really, really good in beard. Now, I don't say that about every beard oil that I review. Some of them stink. Some of them aren't good. Some of them don't feel that good in the beard. Some of them leaves my beard feeling really greasy. This one does great. The scent profile, as you already know, it's blueberry and also thyme. I'm going to go over the ingredients in all of these oils. We have sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, which is the closest oil to the natural oils. We have clear jojoba oil and fragrance. Before we go to the next one, I'm going to have her smell initially right out of the bottle. Okay. I. So what's your thoughts? I do smell the berry, the blueberry, pretty strong. And I remember smelling it the other day too. It was really strong. I didn't, I mean, it's not a bad, bad deal, but it's really strong. And I remember later smelling it. It wasn't as strong as when I initially smelt it the first time. I do though smell the blueberry pretty strong in it. Okay. So I do have the beard butter for this same scent. And so we're going to check this out before we move to the next oil. So this is the two ounce tub for the wizard, uh, beard butter. And, uh, you can see right here that right there is a good good beard butter now it emulsifies really really well in the hand man that smells really good i love it in the beginning as i said i wasn't sure but i'm really really liking it mm -hmm. so this right here in the ingredients it has shea butter clear jojoba oil sweet almond oil grapeseed oil and fragrance so this is the wizard. It says it's a tangy, sweet, and bright blend of blueberry and thyme that will energize your senses. So do you think it would energize your senses? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, guys. You got to get your hands on the wizard. If you have a beard like a wizard, or even if you don't, you got to check it out. This will run you $20. Okay, guys. Last but not least, when it comes to Kingsman Premium, they have great, great scents, but there always has to be the one that's on the top. And this one for me, guys, has to be the one on the top. Now, I know it's probably the same for you guys because it's been one of the number one sellers for Kingsman Premium. And I do understand and I have heard that the formulation has changed. It is actually stronger. 
and better now, which makes it even more enticing to go out there and buy this stuff. Because if you like fragrances in your beard oil, that's going to last a long time. This is what you want to do. You want to go get online and you want to buy this stuff. This right here, guys, is none other than the holy grail of all beard oils. Holy grail. And that's what it's called. Now, I do have the full bottle of holy grail. As you see, I only have a little bit left. Not very much. And that is because I use the heck out of this stuff. I have a lot, a lot of oils that I use, but I love... I love using this at night before I go to bed. Let me smell it. Go ahead. <laughs> she wants to smell it. Now, I will say that this is a cloney smell. If you are into oud like I am, I absolutely love oud. I love auger wood. I love oud. This is actually intoxicating. That's why I like to wear it at night before I go to bed. I did share some of this with a coworker at my job and I gave him two other beard oils to check out and this was his favorite. He had told me that the women love this stuff. I need to get some. So I said, okay, I'll send you a link. And so that just goes to show you how good this stuff is. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So from a female's perspective, what do you think about the Holy Grail? I like it. Um, I feel like the beard butter is has a stronger scent than the oil. And it's funny that she says that because this oil was purchased back in fall of last year, in October. This I just got about, probably about a month ago. So I believe, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, that, and I've heard this, this has been reformulated, as I said, to be stronger. From what I understand, it was manufactured somewhere else and Kingsman Premium has decided they want to pull all that out and bring it back to the house and make it in the house themselves. So that's what they've done from what I understand. And correct me if I'm wrong, you can drop it in the comments below. But you can definitely tell that this beard butter is definitely stronger than this beard oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. This beard oil is still really, really good. It has a great scent. However, it does not last as long as the beard butter. I'm more of a beard butter guy than a beard balm. Uh, I do like beard balms, but I love the beard butter. I'll wear beard butter during the day. I'll wear beard butter at night. But this stuff, man, absolutely great. It'll last a long time. The consistency, as you can see, is pretty good. And you can just see, I've had this beard butter for about, I don't know, maybe three weeks, maybe a month at tops. And you can see how much I've used of it. So. Really, really good stuff. Now, I will say that the beard butter and the beard oil does cost more than the others because oud is a very highly sought out, expensive fragrance. The way it's produced, it's, uh, you know, in the Middle Eastern countries, you see uh, the, the decaying trees that has the oud uh, and it's just, it's crazy. You have to do the research and check it out because it's really, really cool but it's very, very expensive. So this right here will cost you uh, $28.99. And this one right here is the same, $28.99. You can save money with my code CHAD15 uh, at checkout. You can buy this and this and the other ones I'm gonna show you in a bundle and I'll go over that at the end. And so with that said, last but not least, I do have the Kingsman Holy Grail and the shampoo and the conditioner. As I said, I got the oil and I got these two things back last fall. Now, I'm guessing that the formulations changed in the shampoo and conditioner as well. That's the shampoo. The conditioner is really, really good. Now, you know, you can't really see, but it's, uh, it's conditioner, guys. How does it feel? It feels really good. Now, with that said, you can get the shampoo, conditioner, and this oil for like $72. As I said, you'd use that coupon code and you can get a lot cheaper. So we're gonna close this up. What is your favorite scent out of all three? Black Knight, Wizard, or Holy Grail? I like the first one. She likes Black Knight better, guys. <laughs> wow. Now, what would be your second? Holy Grail. Holy Grail and then obviously Wizard. Yeah. So you've heard it from a woman's perspective. 
you got to check out the Black Knight. You have to check out the Wizard, and you have to check out the Holy Grail. Now, I believe that there are samples that Kingsman Premium does offer. So if you want to check it out and you're not sure about the Wizard, you're not sure about the Black Knight, you've heard great things about Holy Grail, get samples. You know? They're all good. They're all good. They really are. So anyways, that's going to do it for us today, guys. So thankful that you stayed around to the end of the video. If you haven't liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe for more and hit that notification bell so that way you are up to date with all the reviews that I'm putting out. And go ahead and leave in the comments below if you think it was cool for Tara to be in this review with me. <laughs> guys, we'll catch you later. Bye, guys.